ran to town, got some McDonald's, Aiden's chowing down on his pancakes. Um, she had to be there at 8, but the games don't start until 9, so we had some time to go eat. She made herself a smoothie this morning. Um, but it's a very rainy day. It's been raining the last couple of days. It's been raining off and on, kind of. But then last night, a, a storm rolled in. There was thunder and lightning and everything. So, um, a little bit of flooding. Thankfully, nothing like in town. It's just the fields and stuff. But, um, yeah, lots of rain. We keep getting imminent danger warnings for flash flooding on our phones. So, anyway, that's mostly what our day has in store is volleyball game after volleyball game. So, yeah, we'll see what all else we can get into. Hey guys, we are out dress shopping. The girls have their dresses and we're waiting on a waiting room right now. So we're just being sneaky and taking our masks off. But um, anyways, so Brooklyn's just trying a few on for fun, just for the experience. But Riley's got a few choices. You wanna show us your choices? This I'm, one is her, she's making me try I'm making her try that one because it's similar to what I wore in my Edgar promotion. You know, I kind of like this color. It's like really pretty. And then this one is like my favorite one. I found it online. This is the one we've been painting for. Yes. It's like two piece. It looks weird, but yeah. So anyways, we're gonna get these tried on. If she feels comfortable, we'll show you guys as we try them on. But um, if not, then we're gonna go get our spot back in line for the fitting rooms. So bye. Okay. What size was that one really? Seven? But, well, but the top fits fine, doesn't it? I wish it was like not so low. I wish it were higher up. Vlogging? Did you say vlogging? Vlogging. Going boot shopping. Boot shopping again. Yeah, I like those. I don't like the stitching. I. Oh yeah, I guess a little bit. Oh, let's match mine. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> They just kind of have that orangey look. I like those. Yes. I like them a lot. They're so much more comfortable. Like this leather's kind of soft already. They look good. Guess where we're eating dinner. Hey guys, happy Sunday. We are out and about. We got the whole fam here. Um, we have been doing some shopping. We already went to, to church, of course, and lunch. And it's actually 5, 11 in the evening. Um, but we've done a lot of shopping. Us girls went to Ross and... Uh, but it's been raining all day long. I was just, just trying to flip the phone around to show you a waterfall basically on the side of the road. Anyways, uh, so we'll have a nice Ross haul for you guys when we get home. But right now we're going to go to Bass Pro and the guys have been going around to all the guy stores. I don't know. Um, Anyways, so we're going to go to Mass Pro, and then once we get home, Riley and I will do a little haul of what we got, and then Brooklyn got some things too, but she's taking them home with her. She's got to go home in a minute, um, and then I got some stuff for Aiden too, so. So we are all done shopping. We went and got some coffee. We got Seven Brew. Scotty's got hot Snickers. Aiden got a smoothie. Riley and Brooklyn got cold Snickers. <laughs> Whatever, you look just fine. And then I got a hot German chocolate. And my Java sock is made for like a big old drink. You all have seen my um, Taco Bell drinks in it. But I just folded it down and it still works perfectly for my 7 Brew cup. So, yay, this is the first time I've actually used it for Java instead of Taco Bell. <laughs> but anyways, we are on our way to take Brooklyn home. That. We're sitting in her home with food and coffee and clothes and 
shoes and all the fun stuff, right? She's not spoiled. No, not she's, not. she's definitely our kid. She's spoiled. Huh, Riley and Aiden? Y'all are, are spoiled, right? I said, mm hmm. Oh, okay. Aiden's on his phone. Aiden's on his what? Oh. His what? <laughs> his phone. Yeah, we got Aiden a phone yesterday. Literally, one of the only reasons is because we got a buy one, get one free, and we traded Scotty's phone in and got Riley a new phone for free. So, you know, that's just kind of how it works out sometimes. But. Yeah, with basketball practices and stuff and games and when they have away games and they have to text us when they're getting close, it just is going to make it way easier if he has his own. So, yeah, that's another thing we did this weekend. All right, we are home from town and I have all this raw stuff out in front of me and I was going to do a haul on my weekly vlog, but there's way too much stuff. So I'm going to make that my Thursday video. So of course, by the time you see this one, that will already have gone up. Uh, yeah. So here's a brief overview of just what we have in all the bags and you'll kind of see why I decided to make it a separate video. So these are like massive bags <laughs> and they're heavy and huge. And then this one's smaller, but it's got more like the houseware stuff. So three big O bags. There's Riley. She's going to help me out with it because she's got clothes in her too. But three big O bags. It would take way too long to have on my weekly vlog. So we're going to film a separate video now. I've already got my camera ready and I'm going to film that video now. So if you haven't seen that yet, it'll be linked up in the iCards up in the corner. Uh, so go and watch that and I hope you enjoy it. I just prep my fruit for the week. So my strawberries, blueberries, and grapes. Um, still going strong on this. I love this container. It makes such a difference. These strawberries sat in the fridge for a couple days and they were already starting to kind of wilt. Whereas before when I packaged or prepared them right after I bought them, they just stayed fresh for so long. Anyways, highly recommend this thing. I wish I knew the brand, but if I can find something on Amazon similar, I'll link it. Um, and then I've got my egg container already set out and ready to get eggs in it. And then my cuties refilled my fruit bowl. Um, that's not the bowl that eggs usually go in, by the way. <laughs> that's usually just my fruit bowl. Bananas or cuties or apples usually stay in it. Whatever we have that doesn't have to be refrigerated. Hey guys, happy Monday. Uh, didn't even know what day it was. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I'm, I'm more than a little tired. I'm <laughs> very tired. Um, daylight savings was this weekend. I'm majorly feeling the effects. We had a really busy weekend, which you'll have seen. We went shopping and did volleyball and all that. I'm fixing to head to the school because I have a baccalaureate meeting. I'm on the baccalaureate committee. Um, so I have to go for that meeting and then I got to pick up Aiden from practice. But I got a package from Ipsy. And if you remember last time I did that um, unboxing with you guys or un opening it with you guys, um, they had sent us, let me put this down, sorry. Hi, I'll step back so it's not so awkward. Um, they had sent me two of the brow gel things. Well, I contacted them because I was, I've just, again, not been super happy with Ipsy. Uh, but their customer service was actually fantastic. Um, and they got back with me immediately. And they shipped me. I just got it. I'm just opening it now. Um, they sent me the perfume that I was supposed to get. So this was what was missing from my last month's bag when I got those two brow gels. Man, I look a mess, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, that's nice. I'm not going to spray it on me because I am very weird about fragrance. Ask Riley. She'll always spray something on her in a store. And then I will have a major headache afterwards. Yep, now that I've sprayed it, not so nice. I mean, it's nice, but I don't think I could wear it. It would give me a headache. What notes is it? Iris oil, ginger extract, and lily of the valley. Yeah, I'm not super big on florals. I'm more fruity because they're more mild. Anyways, I'll probably pass this on to somebody. I'm sure my daughter will end up wearing it. Um, Riley. Okay, that's it. Oh, and... I think I said we got new phones. Yeah, I said it yesterday, um, but I got my phone case today. I don't have my phone yet, but I got my phone case 
and it is so pretty, but I thought it came with a screen protector and it doesn't. Um, yeah, that's probably got COVID on it. That's fine. Uh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I'm really excited to get my phone. Um, it did ship today, so it should be here tomorrow. So I'll show you my new phone once I get it. But I got to go now. Um, I need to be there at 6 and it's 545. So it takes me about 10 minutes to get there. I'll still be there on time. But anyway, I will um, probably not see you until tomorrow. No, I think me and Aiden are going to go. Do I need to get anything else? I'm trying to remember. Um, Aiden and I are going to go to town. Um, guys, this weather is glorious. Um, after I pick Aiden up from practice, we are going to go to town because I needed some sewing needles because I've got to get those prom dresses altered and I don't have what I need to hem the chiffon. So um, I need to go to Walmart and get that. Sorry. So I need to go to Walmart and get the sewing needle to hem that chiffon so I can get it done for these girls this week. So anyways, um, I will possibly vlog later, but maybe not till tomorrow. So we'll see. Tuesday. Um, it is pretty late in the evening. It's like 8 15 in the evening and we just got home from Aiden had a basketball game and Riley had a volleyball game. Look how cute Riley's dressed. Well, <laughs> it was, it was, um, frat boy day at school. So she had on khaki shorts. Now she's got on her volleyball shorts, but anyway, she looks so cute today. Uh, so the reason I'm getting on here is because, drum roll please, my new phone came in. I'm so excited. So I'm going to open it up and, um, get it all set up. So, um, I mean, I don't know how to do unboxings, but. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a, um. I'm making my things. And I'm going to be noisy. I don't want to interrupt you. So. <laughs> Making your thing. Making my thing. So the phone that I got is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. <laughs> so I'm not really like up to par on what phones are or anything like that. Scotty does all the research on all of our phones and our electronics and everything that we get. Um, I did research my own laptop. So. You can be proud of me for that. Um, but as far as the phone goes, um, 
I, I really wasn't sure. We knew we were ready for upgrades and wanted to do upgrades, but um, so Scotty did the research on it. The phone that I have been using, the one that I record my weekly vlogs on, and a lot of my footage for that matter, is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So I've had that for a couple of years, and we actually bought it from our neighbor. So she had it for a little while before that. But before that, I had a Note 5. So it's a pretty good upgrade there. So this is a humongous upgrade from the phones that I've been having. Um, also, the reason I like a Note is because it's such a big screen. And so this one is a very large screen. Um, the Note also has the S Pen. I never really use my S Pen, so I don't think I'm going to miss that. Watch, I'll be like, man, I miss my S Pen. And probably use it more than I realize. So anyway, I'm going to unbox it here. Um, so here's the, I'm going to, please don't drop it. Um, here's what it looks like on the inside. I just took the lid off. And I got the silver. Scotty got the black version. Um, but... What sold me on this is Scotty sent me a video of just the commercial of this phone and I had literal chills from what was filmed on this phone and it was just so beautiful. And because I do so much filming, it's got five cameras, it's got all these fancy different things that who knows if I'll ever even figure out. Um, but I definitely was sold on this because it's a camera. The guy at T-Mobile said it's basically a camera that can make phone calls. So it's way more of a camera than a phone anyways. So um, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. This is, again, a brand new phone. Never had it on before. So there's the T-Mobile sound. So I'm going to get it all set up and play with it and everything. But I just wanted to show you guys. It's so pretty too. Like I said, I got the silver, but it's really gotten iridescent. You can really kind of see the colors changing in there as I turn it in the light. Um, of course, it's going to have a case on it. This is my case, which is the funniest thing. My best friend and I, we've been friends since, since school, really, since second grade when she came to our school. Um, but we, haven't, we weren't really close until after high school. But since then, we have all of these occurrences. Like we had our babies at the same time. We changed jobs at the same time. Like so many things, like we'll just call each other out of the blue and say, well, this is happening. And it's like, are you kidding me? This is happening to me too. You know, so we, we don't hardly talk to each other just because we live our busy lives. Um, but it's just always amazing. The coincidences, the God coincidences, because we know that God definitely brought us together. Um, and there's no such thing as a coincidence outside of God's will. So anyways, I'm sitting at the volleyball game tonight and I was like, are you kidding me? And she just looks at me. I was like, I just ordered that exact phone case. She said she's had it for about six months. So I don't know if I subconsciously saw hers and realized I loved it, but I literally have never noticed it, like consciously noticed it until tonight. That's so funny to me. So anyways, I got my case. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to do my S switch and get it all moved over. And then I'll start filming on it. And then so the next clip that you see will be on the new camera. So that'll be interesting to see the difference in the quality and everything. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I said the next footage you would see would be with my new camera, but I wanted to do some comparisons. So this is actually with my Canon um, G7X. Uh, so the screen size is bigger. <laughs> so, so this is the Note that I just got out of, and then this is now the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. It's a mouthful, um, but they're both very clear and crisp on the screen, but this just seems so much, I don't know, it's bigger for sure, and it just almost seems like a 3D picture on this. Like, the more you look at that castle, it just really stands out. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so it took forever to transfer all my apps and everything over, but I've got it all ready, and it all ready set up for me. But you can see how huge the screen is on this new phone, so I'm definitely not going to miss the screen size of this. If I were to have downgraded to a smaller screen, I actually went to an even bigger screen. My fear of maybe missing the S Pen, um, we found out that you can use the S Pen on this new phone. So um, that's pretty cool. So I don't have a plan for this phone for the time being, so maybe I'll figure out you know, how to carry this thing around with me or look into getting the Samsung Pen. But anyway, I thought it was pretty cool that this actually worked for it and um, yeah, so I'm still figuring it out, but I'm thankful all my apps moved over because, see, these are my apps. I have taken <laughs> hours upon hours to organize these all into these folders, so I was going to be really sad if I had to 
um, redo all of that. So anyway, there's the slight comparison. Um, let me turn them over. Anyway, this is the back. These are the difference between the cameras. It's pretty drastic. It's pretty insane. Uh, Scotty filmed some stuff at the kids games cause he already had his set up. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited to start filming with the camera. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I just got home a little bit ago and Scotty put new screen protectors on our phones. Uh, but I also got my Ipsy in the mail, my March one. I feel like I just got one because February's came so late because of the snow. Um, but I have been saying it forever. I'm disappointed in Ipsy. I won't redo it, blah, blah, blah. This was like the best ever. Like it is a very good bag. So let me show you what I got this month. So this is the bag this month. It's pretty cute. I like it. Um, and then this is the first ever nail polish I've ever gotten. And it is a full size nail polish. Um, not a color I would have chosen at all, but it's just a nice soft pink. So I'll definitely give it a try. Um, and then a milk makeup blush and lip color. Um, that's definitely a cheek color that I would like. Let me look at these things here. So the polish is MSRP 850 and the cheek stick is $28 for the full size version, which this, this is 0.21 ounces. So a quarter, I guess. about seven dollars for this little baby that's crazy um, and then a lip balm I have my very favorite lip balm which you if you are an old-school follower of mine you'll know that this is my favorite uh, lip balm but Riley said she just lost hers so she'll get that but it's an eight dollar lip balm holy moly um, but yeah it's actually nice I did put it on just to see what it was like and it is nice I just realized it says with CBD. So maybe Riley won't be getting this. <laughs> okay, I should probably read packaging before I put things on. I'll do my research. <laughs> okay, next um, is an Araceli liquid eyeliner. And it is a super fine point uh, felt tip. And MSRP on it is $16. And then last month I got two of one product and not another. This month I got all four of my other products and then two of my fifth product. So they must have a mess going on in their warehouse right now. Uh, so anyways, here is the eyeshadow that I got and it's very nice. Right up my alley. Something I would wear for sure. But it is the same exact color. So two of those, Desert Sunset, number two. So yeah, for the first time ever, I am happy with my Ipsy bag. So um, I didn't say what those um, Naked Cosmetics ones were, $15 each. So uh, value-wise, this is for sure the most expensive bag I've ever gotten. Um, but also quality product-wise, um, I'm very happy with this. There's some, I will use every single one of these products. They're good quality products. I've actually gotten a few other naked things, I think, and I liked them. There's like a Kosas or something I got that was just hard pan from day one. Um, so anyways, there's my Ipsy bag for this month. There's my bag of Ross stuff that I'll have to take back. There's a lot of it. So anyway, we're fixing to head off to church. I just wanted to open my Ipsy while I was home and had it right in front of me. So I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. I just got in my car to leave and I was gonna show you before it's all gone. It snowed last night. I don't know if you can tell out in the woods over there. But my car is covered in snow. It's so funny, it's been like 72 degrees and now it's got snow on everything. But now it's raining so the snow's going away pretty quickly. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. Uh, we had a food day at work today and I just had to show you my loaded taco bar. Oh, it's so delicious. Brisket, ground beef, chicken, and all the toppings.
press a little tighter. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> How do you have it, like... Press it. Put it up where you have it, and then stick your tongue out. I want to see where it's at on your tongue. You press them, so all this has to be pressed up against the top of your mouth. Oh. I'll put it on the top. Now, try not to put too much pressure on this. You're putting pressure up here. Oh. Push a little more on the front. I don't know how to blow. Do you blow or oh. suck? You don't suck. You're blow. gonna suck it down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> like take a member. <laughs> 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 you should trick your friend at school. You're like, hi guys. Hey, guys. You need to make it higher pitch, like. <laughs> no. Not louder. Put your. Hey guys, happy Friday. It is not morning. Joke's on you. I have my um, glasses and my robe on, which is usually means it's early morning. It's actually 9.58 at night. <laughs> we just got back from Aiden's basketball game and eating dinner. And um, I got all cozy because I still have to edit the video. Strawberry is snoring over here. You hear her? You hear how loud she's breathing? This girl. Okay, and Boone's walking around. Sorry, it's just a mess up in here tonight. So, anyways, we just got home. We had we went to the ball game and then we had dinner. Um, and now I need to edit this vlog, but of course I need to close this vlog out because I didn't I haven't even said hey to you guys today. Um, but I also wanted to talk about a blessing that I got because we went to pay for our dinner tonight and someone had already paid for it. And my best friend checked out right before us. But she swears that she did not pay for our dinner. So I don't know who it was, but um, whoever it was, thank you. I don't know if you'll ever see this at all by any circum or any by any chance. But there were a lot of people on that restaurant that we knew, um, whether close or just you know in passing or whatever. But anyways, it was just such a blessing to have had our dinner paid for us. So. What a way to end our week. Um, I'm just really grateful for that. We've done a lot of running around this week. I think this vlog will probably contain um, about this much at our house and the rest of it in the world because we have been on the go all week long. So um, I'm going to get this edited. I'm going to get out of here, stop jabbering, um, get this uploaded because we have to go back for a basketball game in the morning. Um, so it's going to be another busy week starting early tomorrow morning. Um, Oh, strawberry. <laughs> that was a big sigh. Maybe she's done now. <laughs> Listen how quiet she is now. Silly girl. Anyways, okay, I'm going to stop. Thank you guys so much for watching this week. I hope you had a wonderful week. I hope you can see that we did. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.